welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are the McKnight Twins. My name is Abby. My name is Emily. And we are back with our annual fall favorites video. We do these obviously once a year, mm -hmm. duh. But we absolutely love making these videos and I also love watching these videos. Something about fall just makes us so happy. So happy. If you know, you know. Like fall's our favorite season and if you're watching yes. this, I'm assuming you love fall too. So yeah, we just have a list here of some favorites that we love to use specifically during the fall. But these are just kind of overall favorites as well. Mm -hmm. Like they don't have to be just for fall, but yeah. We especially love them in the fall. Mm -hmm. They like bring the fall vibes and the fall feels and the fall smells and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. before we get started, let's we're gonna um go ahead and pour a glass of wine. Ooh, in our little new little cheers. spooky skeleton wine glasses that we got from Home Goods. These are like a pottery barn dupe. These were only ten dollars. Oh, and so on pottery yeah, barns website they were very expensive. So, so expensive on pottery barn. Well, like twenty five dollars each and they're ten dollars like, each. Excuse me, look at this little guy. He's so cute and spooky. He's so spooky and we cute. We love so we're just pouring up a little glass, small glass. Um, Emily and I have been loving Malbec recently. We are usually, Laura. <laughs> yeah, usually we're Cabernet girls. Yeah. But also Keely, she loves Malbec too. Okay. Um, but Laura told us to get into Malbec and I actually really have been enjoying it. I was getting kind of sick of Cabernet. So this is just from Trader Joe's. It's the Alamo's brand. Brand. We have a couple is or- a brand? I don't know. Alamo's. But it's like an Argentinian, is that how you say it? It's from Argentina. God, I feel like we're already sounding stupid in this video. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, we just wanted to do a little cheers and get in the spirit. I mean, to be fair, it is 5.15 on a Friday. So, Jeez. this is an appropriate time to be drinking for once in our videos. You know, cheers. for once. <laughs> cheers. Mmm. It goes down so smooth. So good. We actually need to set these down so we don't spill on my white rug. So, we're just going to take yes. a sip. Okay, so let's get into the fall favorites. So obviously the first thing, actually a perfect first item since we were just talking about wine, is this. Now this is a sweeter white wine mm -hmm. and it's from Trader Joe's. It is the Witch's Brew Spiced Apple Wine. This we is my love. first time trying it. I guess Emily drank this all last year and never mm -hmm. told me about it and I'm a little annoyed. I swear I did. I feel like I sent you a Snapchat. But maybe you opened it when you were distracted because I know for a fact I sent you a Snapchat and I think like you didn't give me much of a response. So I was like, okay. Maybe I Because I thought you would have liked it. but Because I was like, I, because obviously look at this. This is just so like fall and, and it's, fun. It's delicious. It tastes like spiced apple. Like there's, it's literally mm. called spiced apple. So that is so good. It says right here, so good. sweet, crisp apples, cinnamon and brown sugar from the spice merchant. Enjoy chilled or serve warm. Oh, that's we a smart idea. Yeah, we could like, like a, ste like a yes. steamy apple crumble from Grandma's kitchen. <laughs> Pairs perfectly with a cozy porch swing on a fall evening. <gasps> wow, they really they sold. Me? They sold me in that. That is that just made me so happy. Oh my yeah. gosh. So this Hold is also my necklace is like twisted. It's really driving me nuts. And in case you guys are wondering, the alcohol percent is 12.5, which is higher than I was expecting. Do you know? Oh, that twisting. looks really uncomfortable. Is it twisting? No, it's stuck in your skin. It's like stretched. Are you okay? I'm Can you totally breathe? Fine. Barely, but okay. I'm used to that. Anyways, this is so like trashy <laughs> to do it like this, but whatever. <laughs> that sounded like sexual. Like I'm joking. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I'm always like stressed and anxious. So I can barely breathe. Not anything sexual. Oh my God. Oh, what, is, like what is happening with this? I can't be getting in this video. Let's hope you're not new here. I hate it. I wish we could new? restart, but like I feel like we're already in too deep. Okay, but anyways, look how cute this is. And they also have three different flavors. <laughs> so hopefully you're watching this. If you're watching this, you have a Trader Joe's because not everyone has the luxury of Trader Joe's and I'm so yeah. sorry. But they have three different flavors. I know they have pumpkin spice, spice apple, oh and then some red. Oh my god, battery's dead. Oh, I have one anyways. charge. Okay, so let's continue on, you guys. So I'm glad there's like a fresh battery. I feel like this is a fresh start for me. Yeah, so... I'm just flip the switch. Okay, so we really don't know what to start with because we have a little bit of everything. We yeah. have a lot of fragrance and like smells. smells. <laughs> let's start with that then. Okay, let's start with that. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do home scents first. Okay. Because I want to talk about two candles. Yes, of course. Candles so, are a must in the fall. Like, no you question guys about it. That just sets the whole mood in your house and makes you feel so cozy. Yeah. And the scents, obviously, you just want your house to smell good. So, Bath and Body Works is our favorite 
fall candles. They have the best candles. That we really know they're bad make... for you though. <laughs> it's okay. I don't, we don't People always them. say that. We know they're bad for you. I don't burn them in like a small room. I can't do it in my bedroom or anything no. like that. It's more so the downstairs that's big and there's mm -hmm. a lot of like space airflow. and airflow and stuff. Yeah. Um, especially th what's good about this one is there's not much throw. Like there's not much... It's not like an overpowering scent, so I really like this one. Yeah, this one doesn't have um, much projection. Yeah, so this one is the Pumpkin Vanilla Cream from Bath & Body Works. It says Creamy Pumpkin Vanilla Cream Fresh Ground Nutmeg Graham Cracker Crust. So this one just smells Yeah, it's very so delicious, it's light, but it's, it's super sweet. It's sweet, but it's I love not it. like... I know, it smells literally yeah, so, so, so good. good. So I, I got like, two of these. Is a new one? I think it's new. I've never had it. I was going to say, we've never bought that before, but that is really, really good. I have two of these. Yeah, I'm burning one right now downstairs and then bought a backup because I don't know. You never know if they're going to bring them back. But this one yeah. smells so yummy and mm -hmm. cozy and inviting. We love it. Yeah. So, I love. I'm obsessed. And then this next one is not really like a... Um, the packaging fall. is 0 out of 10. Um, <laughs> I hate it. But, yeah, the scent is... 10 out, 10 out of 10. 10. So this is the Fallen Bloom scent. Um, it is a new scent that they came out with this year. And Abby and I have bought the body spray. She has the Shimmer body oil. Yeah, we're going to talk about this in a it's minute. Just, yeah, but um, we'll just get there. Literally, but. you know, I've never bought Bath & Body Works like body oh products before. before no, this literally, we, and you guys know if you're not new here, you know that Abby and I are very picky about our packaging. So you know we love the scent if we would if buy we it. are willing to... <laughs> Say, like, not care if I would spend my money on this packaging, it's because the scent is so that good. good. It smells like such a bomb rich perfume. It actually smells exactly like Burberry Her. She she was the one who discovered that. I was like, no, we it was like, a it was a review online. Okay. And I was like, oh. that's what it smells like. It wasn't Bach Rock. I was take like the credit because I was like, damn, you got a good nose. Cause I no. literally was like, what does that smell like? I know. It says juicy plum, like wild Her. bloom, and velvet moss, which I like who knows what velvet moss smells like so that's but dude this smells so it's definitely good like burberry her. so this if you like do for her. burberry her yeah um so i got the mini mist i'm actually i'm thinking about ordering like a bunch of these i don't know if this is like a new permanent scent i have no idea but this is like the thing i'm most excited about this is the diamond shimmer mist so it's just See if I can show it. So it obviously just has <laughs> glitter in it. So it's basically. It's do you like, want to give them a demo? Or? It's like a Burberry Her glitter mist. You so give you them just a demo? spray it. Yeah, and it's not sticky at all. Go ahead and rub okay, it. Okay, this is not good for my fake tan. You did way too much, girly. Oh, do you have? You're fake not tan? supposed to. Yeah. Oh. Obviously, babe. Oh, but you've rinsed it off. Yeah, but so oil it separates like, your fake tan, so you're not supposed to use too much. But okay, they literally cannot see that at all. <laughs> But it does like give you a really subtle. I like that it's not a chunky. It's not chunky. obnoxious glitter. It smells so good, you guys. You guys need this. I'm telling you, you need this. Let's see if I can show that. Maybe it'll be able to see on my chest. Doubt it. Nope. You won't be able to see. But it's like really fine glitter. Mm -hmm. It's not. I like, love it. Yeah, it's super super pretty. I feel like I honestly will wear that on my wedding day. Mm -hmm. Just to add so a little good. bit of like shimmer and glitter to my chest without being like too much. And it smells so good. I know. So that's, that's, all I, that's all I keep saying is like, it smells so good. You I don't even care about so the good. glitter. I'm like, it just smells so good. I know. I'm actually, and you have the body oh. um, right there. Yeah. We also got the body lotion, or I got the body lotion. I'm about to order the entire line. Like, I'm so obsessed. It has shea butter and a hyaluronic acid. So, Ooh. good job, Bath and Body Works. I'm sure that's a lie, but great marketing. It's probably like the last <laughs> ingredient is hyaluronic. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, what's next? Okay, you can talk about a perfume next. Yeah, um, we have a lot of perfumes I feel like Lots that we wanted to talk about, but we try to narrow it down to things we haven't spoke about on our channel before. New things. Because if you've been here, you know we kind of repeat our same sense. Like, we're we're creatures of habit. We love our alien. And we we're love super our, picky about scents. We love so. our Kaoli vanilla, but... Mm -hmm. um, so, these are some new ones. Actually, I don't even think I'm going to talk about this one. Wait for the winter. Okay, yeah. Because that's, that's a good winter one. That's a good winter one. So mm -hmm. we'll save that. But I have two to talk about. One is like an affordable option. One is a more expensive option. Option. Can I speak? So this one is Rose Gourmand by Zara. This is the E-Day Perfume. Oh, that um, feminine Empowered, a fresh rose elevated by the luscious duo of Vanilla and Tonka. Which usually rose is a mature is a mature scent and this yeah. is a mature scent but the vanilla and the tonka really mellow it down to like a very 
a very mild rose and this packaging is so sleek and stunning i love it so much they're very generous with the amount of product that they give you for the price this was like 29.90 and i love this so much i mean abby does oh my gosh no that one okay i was gonna so say this good. is so good and laura told us um or told me that this was a dupe for the what is the brand i'm trying to think i was i smelled that scent before. montal intense cafe oh I and I that, but i've smelled that before. i feel like i've it this smells like laura the Montal yeah, oh intense cafe exactly what it smells like so before. that's a very expensive option and i've been wanting to buy that and then when i smelled this and she told me i was like oh my gosh it kind of does and i keep seeing tiktoks about these now because i've been looking them up and that's been like a common theme is people saying this is a dupe for montal um intense cafe so it, it just has that really like cozy sophisticated boss bitch vibe it that i really love good. like i love smelling like a boss bitch in the fall mm -hmm. i don't know what it is especially year round but like especially in the fall but you don't want like a super heavy fragrance in the summer and yeah i, feel like you I want, want like fresh. a darker like sexier mature got her shit together yeah scent and this is moody. that this is that yes that is really good Chef's i love kiss. love 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 zara fragrances and just how affordable they are mm -hmm. i also have a zara fragrance that i fell in love with mm -hmm. um i actually only just got this like two weeks ago but i'm obsessed uh this is the red temptation winter and sorry i was on my phone earlier so hopefully no one thought i was rude but i was looking up the description because i don't have the box anymore perfume with spicy and slightly sweet notes are immersed in the sumptuous woody tones of cedar and patchouli for a fragrance that is full of character and distinction mm -hmm. this smells so good kind of like baccarat the original red temptation from zara i guess is an exact dupe i do think it does smell very similar i've actually never smelled yeah. the original i just smell dupes all the time so i feel like i know what it smells like i smelled the original um, and honestly i don't really think it's worth the price tag in my this opinion. one's so warm and it, mm. it's like a little bit this sweet. is a nighttime scent in my yes. opinion it's a little bit more masculine yeah it smells a little it has more of like a cologne mm -hmm. vibe it's the woods like yeah the woody. so if you don't like a masculine like almost unisex scent you wouldn't like this but we love mm -hmm. that. I love I love unisex that. smell. Mm -hmm. It's it's so sexy and warm and inviting and cozy and I just I absolutely love this. And the lasting power on this is I'm really just good. I say that because in the Zara haul I said the only downside of Zara perfumes is their lasting power is bad. And I take that back because they might both have of these I don't know if they changed their formula or I just got like a different I only tried like one before that. So I shouldn't mm -hmm. have said that like as a whole that was a very like specific review to the one that i tried both of these last like i smell it especially on my clothes yeah i feel like on the skin it doesn't really oh my god i have so many scents going on my nose is going it crazy it smells so good in here though but yeah um i feel like it does last a lot mm -hmm. on your clothes yeah so i love it worth the price tag i think these... i mean it's not even expensive it's like 30 dollars for that I would say they're both a safe blind buy if you can't get them in store. Um, I would too. I mean, I smelled you, the Rose Gourmand. I would have never blind bought that one. Yeah. I smelled it in store and I was like, holy shit. Yeah, that name that. does not pull me Yeah, in. I was like, mm, mm But I was like bored because the line is Zara is always a year long. So I smelled it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's awful. I don't know if that's just my location or like, is that is that a universal thing? Because I dread going there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't mind Okay. Me. Let's move on. I have one more scent, so let me just oh, talk you do. about that. Okay, yeah, I didn't know. So if you're not new here, you know Abby and I love the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. I always tongue tie when I <laughs> say that. But this scent, so ugly. Like I know the orange hideous. I know, but <laughs> it why does me. it gotta be orange? Why can't it just but be nude? I it can't. Does, um, uh, it I'm smells indifferent. so good. I'm indifferent. Okay, if you like pumpkin, you would love this. It's like a pumpkin spice latte. It's what that's what it's called. Pumpkin spice latte, and they actually nailed it. I feel like it yeah. really does smell like that. I also love the velvet coffee one that they have. It smells just like the brown sugar shaken espresso drink from Starbucks. But this one really does smell like pumpkin spice latte. Mm -hmm. I love it. You're not you're not impressed. That's I, okay. Yeah, I'm not really too crazy about that. I'm obsessed with the Tahitian vanilla bean one. But that's like, we've already talked about that's, that. That's, that could be year round. that's like a summer one for me. No. Well, this is definitely fall. like a fall. Like, when you're in the shower, I mm. cannot wait for the candy cane one to come back. Oh, that one is oh good. Oh my god, that one is so 
We're already excited for Christmas, but we're trying guys, to like chill. I know, I've literally been on <laughs> Pinterest like pinning Christmas stuff and it makes me so happy. Why are we like this? Why are we always anticipating the next season? No, I'm, never I'm just enjoying in this. the moment. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying this video, but like I'm already kind of <laughs> over fall. I don't know because this is why though why? because it's, oh, it's hot October and we haven't had we've had like one rainy day you guys we got a few. usually Washington is so rainy and gloomy and cold and it feels like fall the the leaves turn like orange yeah. and yellow the leaves are still green it's like I'm 79 okay. degrees and it's October 8th I'm not okay about it I'm really upset so it doesn't even feel like fall it feels like it's Speak literally your mind first week of September I'm like where is the changing leaves where's the Where's the rain? I'm sure a lot of them can relate. So I feel like we have a lot of followers from like Arizona, California, Texas. I hate it. How do you guys so, do it? I yeah, we don't hate know. it. It doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't sit well with me. Same. Um, but yeah, it has been. It's it just hasn't annoying. really been feeling like fall. Okay, this next item is a hair mask, and we've talked about this plenty of times before. But I have to give it another shout out because mm -hmm. I swear this mask has been making the biggest difference in my hair. I use this once a week. It is expensive, but it is 100% worth it. It lasts though. It's yeah. a pretty decent size, honestly. Yeah, and a little bit goes a long way. It's just amazing. This is the Gold Lust Transformative Mask by Orbe, if I didn't already say it's Orbe. Um, so I leave this in. It says you can leave it in as long as you want. I try and leave it in for a minimum of five minutes, but yeah. I'm telling you it works so quick. And yeah, I do, love and I don't mask. even need like a detangler when I get out of the shower and brush my hair. It just instantly, it's in it the next day when I style my hair, it's so smooth and soft and silky. I look forward to the day. I don't want to use it like too often because you use it like once a week, right? Because it's so expensive. Yeah, once a week. But the next day I style it, my hair looks so healthy mm -hmm. and silky and so good. You guys always comment on the videos. I swear. That my like, hair looks healthy. Yeah. It's because it's of after she uses this mask. If I know I'm gonna film, I will use this mm -hmm. like the night before if I can. Um, because I just know my hair looks bomb the next day. Like yeah. it's just my secret weapon and you need and it this. smells oh my so gosh. bomb. So so bomb. Luxurious and sexy. Mm -hmm. It smells oh, expensive. It's literally they collaborated with they collaborated with who for this their scent? I want to say Tom Ford or something like that. They collaborated oh, with a very that. like luxurious high end um well it shows brand for their scent and i think it was tom ford if i i'm gonna look it up and i'll put it on the screen if i'm wrong but i think it's tom ford i mean i believe it yeah this so smells, it smells bomb. insane and it works better than it smells just wait like, for the sephora sale yeah because the sephora gonna, sale's coming up so gonna, add it to your cart we'll yeah. have it linked i'm gonna talk add about to this in the sephora recommendations we're gonna be filming that soon for you guys so yeah. but this is my favorite mask for you <laughs> Really? I yeah. don't think it's that bad. I don't think they picked up. Whatever. Okay. Okay. This is a face mask, and I absolutely love the Paula's Choice um, BHA Skin Perfecting Exfoliant Liquid. But this, I saw a girl raving about this on TikTok, and she had amazing skin. This is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 25% AHA. Do my voice just crack? Okay. <laughs> um, and 2% BHA Exfoliant Peel Rinse Off Treatment. I need so, to try that. This resurfaces skin to radiant perfection, and I promise you, this is, it kind of reminds me of the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial, but better. So, you leave this on, how long do you, 10 minutes, and. Does it tingle? No, not really. Okay. But when you, like, That's wash nice. your I face, when even when I, like, just am using my cleanser, I feel how, like, soft and clean my skin feels. It feels like it was resurfaced, mm -hmm. and then the next day when I do my makeup, it looks bomb. Mm -hmm. It looks bomb. I've been telling myself I need to try that because I know you have it. Yeah. And I love I'll Paula's leave it in choice. your bathroom so you can try it. I really need to try I it. I use it like once every like 10 or 12 days, honestly. Because mm -hmm. I, I hate, I hate doing, I know, I just yeah. hate yeah. face masks. They're just kind of annoying. But that one is totally worth it. Like, I look forward to actually doing that mask, which is rare for me because mm -hmm. I, I hate face masks. Okay, so moving on to beauty, we do not have a lot because they've stayed the same. Well, and we're going to do a Sephora video soon, and we're going to recommend a ton of makeup products. So we just want to narrow it down to, like, the ones we love the most in the fall or, mm -hmm. like, new things we haven't talked about. 
So we both have a lip liner that we've been obsessed with. So this is actually an oldie, but I've actually never owned it. And I know people rave about this all the uh -huh, time. Yeah. It was like um, makeup by Ariel, which is Kylie Jenner's makeup artist. I guess this was his favorite lip liner. Uh, this is the Morphe Sweet Tea lip liner. That's what I'm wearing today. I absolutely love it. It's a perfect brown tone. It's so nice. And it's nice. so creamy and easy to use. I love that one, yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's literally like $7. It's insanely affordable and look how big that pencil is yeah it's huge usually Must they're not forever. this big yeah so i'm actually like annoyed that it's taking me so long to try this because i'm obsessed it's just a perfect like neutral brown shade so perfect for the fall perfect for really all year round but had to give this a shout out so the lip liner I'm wearing is a new discovery that I found and I'm very proud of it because I've never heard anyone talk about it before and it's like four or five dollars so it is the LA girl ultimate intense stay auto liner in the shade keep it spicy and I love that it's retractable and not sharp like what yeah, does it need that. sharpened <laughs> because let's be real who likes to sharpen their lip pencils nobody go ahead and swatch it next to it so you guys can see I feel like this is a little bit more warm a little bit more pink, pinky but it's so creamy so that's the keep it spicy and that's the sweet tea yeah I, similar but they're different yeah this is a really pretty this one has more pink well. tones whereas abby's has more brown yeah but um i love the formula of this because it goes on so creamy and it dries down mm -hmm. very like i don't want to say chalky because that's not a good word but if you know lip liners you know what i mean like it dries down like it just dries down it doesn't stay creamy. it doesn't yeah it doesn't stay as creamy but it just won't budge so yeah. i love that yeah so. This is a good find. Definitely go to Ulta, check it out. I also have another lip product. This is kind of annoying because it's sold out right now and <laughs> I haven't been able to get my hands on the salted caramel, which is obviously like that. the perfect fall scent, everyone says. Um, this is the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment and I have it in watermelon slice. I'm a little. really dying to get the salted caramel. She just hasn't restocked. But at first I was like, I loved it right away, but I was like, is this any better than like my Summer Fridays, my Tatcha? Is this really any different? Packaging. But it is different. It's so thick and nourishing and like the I most insane. I barely use any and I feel like it really just like It's the most insane shine. texture and it gives your skin like a glass look. Your skin? Your Sorry, lips. your lips. I'm just obsessed with this, you guys. Mm -hmm. I feel like everyone is. Everyone who's tried this has fell, fallen in love with it. Yeah, um, I need that. So but I want the salted caramel flavor. I want the salted caramel and even the unscented would be nice too. But the watermelon one is super good too. It's just mm -hmm. I'm kind of... That was the summer thing, and now mm -hmm. I'm like wanting a more, you know, warmer fall yummy scent. Okay, so another makeup product that's also a new find that I've heard nobody talk about mm -hmm. is this blush. It's from the Sephora collection, and this is in the shade Poppy. So it's two shades in one, but this is the perfect fall and winter blush. I'm wearing mm -hmm. it today. Yeah, you probably can't really too. tell because... The camera kind of washes out our blush, I feel like. Always, yeah. Um, so you guys really can't pick it up, but I promise you this is the most beautiful, warm, warm berry. Yes, like it's a mix between like a coral and a berry, obviously. Yeah. And it just looks so beautiful. I feel like a, it would look good on pretty much every skin tone. Yeah. It would. I genuinely can't Especially see darker a skin, skin tone that it wouldn't look good on. Yeah. Um, yeah, unless you're like super, super pale, maybe it might be too intense. Because it's very pigmented. Yeah, it is very pigmented, and this is a pretty big size. I feel like I'm never going to run out of this. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so this will be 30% off during the sale, which is amazing. Yeah. So you guys should definitely pick this up if I you're know. on the market for, like, a fall-winter blush. I want to look at the other... Um, I looked at all of the shades, and this was the I only mean, one. I might need that as well because it is super, super pretty. Mm -hmm. One, the first time I put it on, I was like, oh, yeah, that is gorgeous. I'm a yeah. big blush person, so I've I've tried a ton of blushes, but that mm -hmm. one is really, really It's perfect pretty. for the fall and winter because I feel like yeah. you have a lot of summery. I do. Spring, mm -hmm. summer, bright, blush. vibrant blushes, yeah. Um, and I talked about this one last year, but I want to talk about it again because it's literally just gorgeous. Um, this that is, is so the Hourglass too. Blush in At Night. So it's just this really pretty berry and like champagne gold blush. So it just gives your skin just a beautiful warm mm -hmm. glow. Mm -hmm. And it's like you're sitting by a candle and like the candle's just like lighting you up. Yeah, and that's a good I don't way to know. It. I just absolutely love this blush. It's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. So if you like shimmer blush, that's the one. If you like matte. And this, this one's, one's the one. more pricey. That one's a lot more affordable. Oh, yeah. So it depends Our on your... Hourglass is pricey. I but love their we love their products so good. They're 
stunning. It's so. annoying that they're so good because I don't like the price tag, but yeah. it's okay. worth it. So are we moving on to like fashion? No, we, no. Have, we have one more one kind more. of beauty product. We always mention a fake tan because obviously we're not yes. getting any sun anymore and our skin is getting paler. Yeah, but this is the one I okay. used last night. This so you guys can really see what it looks like yeah we you, have a whole really entire yeah. video on this tan showing us applying it yeah. giving a full review we can link it down below in case you're interested i feel like everyone's probably heard of this and probably has tried it because loving tan is just probably like the number one yeah. self-tanning company it's up there um in our opinion i've tried so many things and nothing compares but the platinum is the darkest tan mm -hmm. i have ever tried but it looks so natural it looks so brown it looks and like natural. a real suntan it really does i hate sleeping in tan and i usually just i won't put it on if i know i have to sleep in it but it's inconvenient to do it early in the morning you know what i mean so sometimes like if it's midday i'll do like a pump with a two-hour express and a pump with this and just mix it and it gives a beautiful color and still yes. just so pretty develops really quickly and i just love this stuff it's really really good mm -hmm. and if you guys do order on their website we do have a discount code that gets you a free tanning mitt and i think it's just mcknight twins yeah, I'm not sure. I we'll believe have it's it. just we'll have it on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that saves you $15. And we love that mid. That's the only mid we'll ever it's use. The only mid I use. Yeah. Moving on to some fashion items. We don't have that much, but we need to share these things. Yeah. So the first thing being is pajamas. Yes. I was never a pajama girly. I was always an oversized t-shirt and granny panties type of girl. But I've just recently fallen in love with the specifically the Skims pajamas that Emily and I recently got. Yes. Oh my god. They're okay, so well, cozy. Since you mentioned it, I might as well yeah. just show them. Mine are so dirty right now. I have the black ones and they have two They just like, all don't over even it. really like look cute obviously. They're just like kind of they're not too flare but they're a flare pants and they're super stretchy yes. and i love the thick band so soft they have an adjustable string on the inside you need to size down in yeah. these because they are very oversized we could have got extra small could have got extra small but so. at least you don't feel i don't feel restricted at all but yeah. they're so cozy they're definitely guys. like mom grandma vibes like they're not sexy but like I don't care. Like, I, I care would love to sleep in these all the time. Yeah. They're so comfortable. So, these are a really good Christmas gift idea to give someone because, let's be real, who likes to really spend that much on pajamas, pajamas for themselves? But once you have them or someone has them, they will understand. Yeah. So, this is a good gift, but you guys should really check these out. I think it's so worth it. And they're, I don't, I just can't describe the it. The best material ever. ever. Yeah. I love. I wish I could live in but, that. But... <laughs> They're very expensive. So I did want another pair. Like I said, I have the black Skims pajamas and I wanted a lighter color, um, but I didn't want to spend the money on another pair. So yeah. I got these from Target. These are the Stars Above so brand. So soft. So soft and comfy, you guys. Oh my these gosh. These are softer I wish than you guys, the Skims one. I wish you guys could feel these through the screen. Mm -hmm. The And these are like $30. They for are the whole so, set? Yeah, for the whole set, for oh, the pants and it. top. Um, it's just a light gray so color soft. with white accents. I got a size small. They fit so well. And they're just, they make I me so them. happy. There's nothing better than like when you're freshly clean and skincare on. And it's cold brushed. outside. Yeah. Yeah. Your Netflix show on and you're mm -hmm. just chilling in your pajamas. Bundled up in your PJs. Nothing makes me happier. <laughs> so, especially if you're like a homebody and you're home a lot, like you need pajamas to lounge in. Like they're the best. Yeah. So, we'll have these linked down below, of course. And the next thing Emily and I both fell in love with this year is puffer vests so we talked about this in our well we showed these in our h&m and zara haul because we both got the same i got a few i got a couple vest. from zara as well so yeah I'm, i love all of them sure. it won't work with my fit obviously it looks best with a long sleeve but it's so such an affordable sleeve, puffer vest this was like 25 dollars. it's sold out right now hopefully it comes back but just puffer vests in general um, get whatever you can get right. your hands on. Yes, these are so cute. Yeah, we like yeah. it. You can wear it with a hoodie, a long sleeve. It's just like very casual. Yeah, it's kind of just giving cool. like I'm going hiking or I'm a camp counselor, but no, it's like a casual cool. But we love, love these. Yes, yes. I We're love. Obsessed. I love them so much. And my favorite outfit lately has been puffer vests, Lulu aligns, like a long sleeve t-shirt, and then Yeezys. I always wear yeezys in the fall and winter like all the time it's my go-to um and these are a new i don't know if they're a new way. release yeah but, they are. Well, oh they are okay well, so these so. are the yeezy 
$3.50. I get them on StockX. I always order my Yeezys from StockX. I get messages about that all of the time. So that's the only way to know they're authentic. Um, you're going to pay um, a Annoying. price. Fees. And yeah, the fees and shipping, it's kind of a lot, but... It's okay. Like it's what you gotta do for you know cool shoes. Yeah, and these are like my two favorite colors. It's like a taupey gray and then black. So I love the cinder ones as well. Those are the other ones I wear all of the time because mm -hmm. they're really like perfect for the fall and winter. So these are on my Christmas list. I need these. I will say though that if you have wide feet, mm -hmm. they would kind of the suck. toes are kind of a little uncomfortable. Narrow. I'm okay with it. They low key. I'm fine with it. But they, Abby's a big comfort person like she refuses to wear uncomfortable shoes so i don't think you should get my these, feet girl. have gone numb my toes have gone i don't numb. think you should get them and i don't vibe with them because these do make your toes go numb like, they look so good though jake has like you and jake are matching and i'm like well, what about me like that's my fiance well maybe and you, can you wear guys them are sometime matching. unless you're okay. like going somewhere crazy no like pumpkin yeah. patch but no 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 <laughs> um by the way these are in men's sizes i am typically a size nine like it depends on the brand obviously but i will say true to size is always nine and i get a men's seven and a half which is i think nine, nine and so half. oh is it, is it a nine i think it's a um but i don't, I don't know, know. I, all i know is i'm a size nine i get men's seven and a half and they fit perfect they're a little tight but they do stretch a little bit because it's like a sweater material so they they do give a little bit yeah and Over i time. love those so much yeah so the pair of sneakers I have, this is a dunk. These girl. are so basic, and I know so many people have these. They're so overworn. And hate on them. And a lot of haters recently are like, you couldn't be more basic if you wear a pair of dunk low pandas. But it's like, I wear these all the time, and these are probably like my number one worn shoes besides my Air Force Ones. Mm -hmm. They just go with so many things. Like, they look cute with jeans, they look good with cargo. I don't think they look good with jeans. I will say, I like, I them, like with them with cargo. I hate them with jeans. I like them with jeans. I just, it depends on the jean. They had to be baggy and like, I, I just think know, with sporty. the, because we always wear light wash and it, that's too harsh the black. Yeah. So I like when you wear them with black cargos. That's the only time they look acceptable in my, in my book. Yeah. But they're just super comfy <laughs> and cool and trendy and I love them. I, and obviously black and white is really easy to style with. Mm -hmm. So these are just like a very well loved shoe in my closet so i thought i would give them a mention i know they're ex like stupid expensive but i've actually got my money's worth in my opinion one more fashion thing for me is this trend is like my favorite trend of the fall season i wish i got the one abby got because hers is way cuter but i still love this one i would show it but it's it's like not even sold yeah. anymore so what's the they're point? both from h&m but i love the sporty bomber like racing Oversized. jacket vibe yes. like this is in a size small i just actually kind of got this so <laughs> that's why the tax is on and it was kind of expensive 65 dollars. but this is such good quality it just has like i don't know how to describe it nascar dad would love this dad would, would love, love this. dad if you're watching mcknight daddy you would love yes <laughs> this would think it's but so i just cool. think it looks so cool with like a it big does. pair of like glasses and then like leggings yeezys air or forces cargos even no i i <laughs> like to be more i literally would wear these leggings like okay just a very i don't even know like what i'm doing it's right a cool now. girl vibe because it doesn't really the camera doesn't do it justice no it does it looks cool if you're just going to the bar or if you're just going yeah. to i don't know shopping yeah things like, that. Like, like in the city casual. going out running errands mm -hmm. yes i love, love it. it so i just love an effortless like cool girl look i'm surprised you're even into that honestly you really I feel like it's more like it's more tomboy than you usually go for yeah but True. i'm here for it, it is yeah um, okay, and Emily and I both got these Sherpa totes Love. from Target. So these are obviously such a perfect fall and winter vibe. I don't know when I'm gonna use this. I'm like, I need to like book a, a cabin vacation trip. We're doing it. But that. it's just this like super oversized Sherpa tote bag that I don't know, you can, it's kind of like a little weekend bag. Um, it's not big enough to be a weekender bag, no. Like a weekender bag, but it's a tote. So. You know, you can carry like bottles of wine, snacks. I don't know. This can be your little like <laughs> your laptop picnic. Like, yes. <laughs> I don't know. You can put your makeup bag. Like, like I'm kind of struggling to figure out what I would use this for, but I could not but it was, pass it up. How much was it? Was it thirty five? Thirty five. So it was very that affordable. Bad. It'll be worth it when the time that comes for you to wear that. You're gonna be like, oh, that was worth. I'm that. gonna be so excited. Dollars. Yeah. So I'm I'm holding on to this and I can't wait to use it. It's super cute. But obviously I have to just show you guys in case before it sells out. I was like, I hope it doesn't sell. 
they be they be selling out of things and they don't restock so we'll link this yeah. below hopefully it's still there by the yeah. time this is posted but we love that okay and then the last thing i want to mention is a spooky like creepy book that i feel like everyone talks about so you've probably heard of it it's verity by colleen hoover um it's just like a it's a book about this writer that goes to live with okay verity is like an author <laughs> let's see verity is an author that got in a car accident and she's like paralyzed can't speak but she wants to finish her book so they hire a different author to finish and she moves in with verity and her husband and um it's just basically developing a relationship between the new author and verity's husband but there's just so many twists and turns it's so spooky and creepy i actually couldn't even fall yeah, asleep she, at night are you telling me about this you're like i can't read this anymore it it's so creepy spooky but it's also very like hard to get through because it's about twins and kind of like verity's just horrible dark. to them it's dark she's terrible to them and like has a favorite and it's just kind of triggering so i'm like <laughs> i'm what if that was you that she hated or me you know what i mean so i'm like putting myself in these poor twins <laughs> shoes so it's don't a, give away it's, too much i know i'm not gonna give away too much um there's so many twists and turns and it's like shocking but if you're just it's into not like that a, big it's not that big yeah it took it i literally read this in probably two days i need water <laughs> i read through this so fast i'm not even a book like i'm not a book girly but the colleen hoover books are you just love insane colleen hoover. so big fan you guys need this if you want like a spooky read for the fall okay so we're gonna move on from products to movies shows all that things stuff. to watch yes things for you to watch because abby and i love watching scary spooky creepy things mm -hmm. on netflix okay so the shows we want to mention the first one is obviously it's very popular right now it's Dahmer on Netflix it's all about the serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer which he is the like scariest the creepiest piece of shit totally ever. demented like he yes. was not okay no he was like a cannibal like he killed people and ate their hearts and ate mm. their yeah body parts and stuff so he's like the worst of the worst don't really want you to love the devil it's actually super hard to watch jake and i are only on episode three and i have a hard time watching it but i wanted to give it a mention just because i feel like a lot of people on tiktok are talking about it and yeah. it is good i still like i'm it's, it's I'm interesting still so it's interesting intriguing. yeah i'm so interested but it's like how is it real it's based wow. on literally true stories that's true what fucks victims. you up that's what fucks you up it's fucking crazy you guys yeah. it's literally insane it. so um yeah if you like serial killers mention that um, we'll not like them but you know what i mean the next one is called falling for a killer this one's on amazon prime and it is ted bundy's ex-wife i guess you could say um it's kind of her talking through her experience with ted and giving like a different story and talking about him as a normal human obviously he never harmed her or her daughter and she didn't know and yeah. the daughter is also talking in the um documentary so it's just super interesting to hear mm -hmm. them speak on him mm -hmm. and their experience with him and it just is a little bit more of a deep dive deep dive ted bundy's also a serial killer i'm super intrigued and he's by washington he did it in washington state at the university of washington so literally it like, like so close, close to, to us home. yeah literally like 30 minutes from us is where he went to university and mm -hmm. started his frenzy um so that's just super interesting to watch okay and then next the movie it we all know pennywise I haven't seen like that either. It, the new one is on netflix now one. it's so good it's such a long movie it's like yeah that's what hours. like i'm like skirt i can't yeah, bye <laughs> no but it's so good jake so and i long. jake and i went in theaters and jake did fall asleep <laughs> but i Typical. i watched the whole thing and it was just it's so well like animated and is like the direction like the director did a good job very good job and That's even good. though it's long like you're interested of course you're a little bit like okay let's just go like it's drawn out a little bit too much detail but obviously like it is just a classic <laughs> spooky movie yeah. like horror movie and everyone knows it and pennywise so um, I want to have it seen it. Go watch it because you. This is Abby orchestrated this list, mm -hmm. and she didn't ask to like collaborate on this. Okay, what's the head? I want to talk about a show that I like, and it's Cold Case Files. Uh, if you like true crime, I think it's so interesting because I, I like learning about cases that go cold that they are not solved because you just want to like know how the hell is that not solved? It gets you because thinking. It kind of seems obvious in some of the stories, but it really yeah, you have to like get some critical thinking going. And it just kind of blows your mind. So I really yeah. do like Cold Case Files and also Haunted, which is like about real life paranormal. encounters with paranormal 
Demons entities. And we, we believe in that show. <laughs> that freaks me out that too much. That shit's, I can't watch it alone or like by myself. No way. Something about paranormal. Night, no. It just gets it's, to me. It, it's real. <laughs> yeah, it's scary. <laughs> I'm saying like it's a fact, but in my mind, it's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then the last thing is the Michael Myers, the most recent Michael Myers Halloween Kills movie. Jake and I saw that in theaters last year. Super good. Super like, um, all the old Michael Myers movies are just obviously super outdated and like there's not good animation. It's very, um, I, which I do appreciate about them. I think they're, you know, they're like classics. Mm -hmm. Um, but the they're Halloween Kills was really, really good, and they're also coming out with another Halloween Michael Myers movie this year. So Can't I'm wait. so excited. We're definitely going on a double date and have a spooky fall date night. I'm so I don't excited. have a boyfriend. You said double date, so just well, just we're just so we gonna know. yeah, no boyfriend yet, but you know what I mean. Like we're gonna find it, whether it's a girl or who, no, whoever. it'll be a boy. Well, yeah, double. You don't you don't have to be in a relationship <laughs> to go on a date. She's dating. She's testing the water. I just know people. Are, oh, but, she has a boyfriend. I don't. No, but like obviously. See, we're gonna we already planning like um a movie date. Yeah. Movie dates are the best in the fall and winter. They're just we're going with the big so nostalgic. It's like, a, like three couples that we want to go with. Yeah. So it's gonna be a fun it's like gonna be fun. That's a good date night. And you're not as scared when there's yeah. more people with you because I'm a big scaredy cat. Same. Um, but so I'll look at you and be like, oh okay, yeah, we're fine. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. That's why I'll need my wine to just get me through. But Okay, that's that gonna everything. wrap up our fall favorites. This is what like our fourth fall favorites we've ever done. It's, it's very like nostalgic. Crazy, we've been doing YouTube for so long. To us. Yes, we've always like I know in the beginning of our YouTube journey, we were always so excited to film fall content. Yeah, and we've just been keeping up with it. Cause and I know we were excited. Fall fans. I'm seeing it just again. We've been excited in this video. So we've been talking over each other and we've been like very chaotic, I feel like. Yeah. So I'm so sorry if it was hard to follow. Our fall favorites, we tend to like give backstories and like be a little bit all over the place. I think it's fine. If they remember, like last year we talked about a really funny story. Like yeah, the, our baked potatoes. The baked potato story. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you don't, <laughs> then go watch our last year's. Like we told a whole story about our childhood with baked potato. You'll just, you just need to go watch it. I think it's funny. I think Thank it's you. funny. And um, a lot of people thought it was funny. But yeah. We're gonna shut up now. This has been way too long, but we love you guys so much. More fall videos coming and just videos in general. We, Holiday content. We've been on a content kick, so I hope you guys are appreciating it. And if you are, give it a like to show us that you are. And we love you guys so much, and we'll see you very soon in our next one. XO, XO, Big Night Twins. Twins.